this hair is driving me nuts I don't know I am having a very hard time figuring out what to do with my hair since I do not want to braid it and I don't want to leave it but desperate times call for desperate measures guys I'm getting ready to film another video for you I know I look like a hot mess right now and that is because of this hair this hair is driving me nuts I don't know I am having a very hard time figuring out what to do with my hair since I do not want to braid it and I don't want to leave it I think I'm just going to have to leave it but I really wish I did not have to I wish I could have manipulated my hair in some kind of protective style and just left it alone but um i don't know what to do with my hair right now i am about two months post relaxer i have two months to go and i am already struggling listen this week i was so tempted to get that type of relaxer and do it myself because when my hair is a mess, I feel a mess. I feel like my life is just not put together and this is really taking a toll on me. <laughs> it really is, guys. It really is stressing me out because I feel like... I feel like I need to be doing something with my hair so that I can look put together and I don't like to look a mess. This, this is, yesterday I was very, very sick, so I washed my hair. Yesterday was Saturday. I washed my hair, but I couldn't do anything with it. So, um, I just went to bed with it. And today, I really feel like I need to give it a good deep steam. So what I will do is, um, give my hair a, a protein treatment. This time I'm going to sit under the dryer because my hair is very dry, very dry, and my hair is breaking really badly again. So I'm going to give myself a deep treatment today. Um, today I'm really going to put love into my hair. Um, I will show you guys the areas where it is breaking. My hair is like this long in some areas, like in the center of my hair. So. I don't know what's causing that. I have been tying my hair up and everything. Um, but my hair is just generally very dry. So I'm going to give it a deep treatment today and I will probably put it in braids so that I can um, weave it myself. So that's probably what I'm going to do today. But I will show you guys the entire process and I will show you what's happening with my hair because it is bad. Um, what do you guys use to soften your new growth? That would be really helpful to me if you would share that. So could you please drop a line or a link in the description, sorry, in the comment section below. And I will check these out because I am having a very hard time managing my new growth. And I've told you guys this before, like whenever my hair has two different textures, it becomes very problematic because... Uh, my hair is very coarse. My natural hair is very coarse. So whenever there is quite a bit of texture um, close to the scalp, <sighs> I don't know what to do with my hair, honestly. So um, that is contributing to the breakage. I mean, I am not manipulating my hair very much but my hair is very very dry and I have done all of my um, moisture treatments like I would normally but my hair is just withstanding the moisture I don't know why um, I find that periodically like throughout the year there are periods when my hair just becomes very stubborn so this is one of those times it's like my hair is resistant to the moisture so even if I do like a moisture treatment, 
um, by the end of the day or by the next day my hair would be so dry you would swear that this was never done so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong or um, what I need to do that I'm not doing so um, I would love to know how you guys manage your tooth textures what you use for moisture and yeah please let me know drop a line below thank you guys Because of how dry my hair is at the moment, I decided to skip the protein treatment and do a moisture treatment instead. Now, typically I would just put the um, conditioner on my hair directly, but today I decided to infuse it with oils. That way I add more moisture and hopefully retain more of that moisture. And I will cover my hair with a plastic cap and sit under the bonnet dryer. The bonnet dryer is one of the steps that I typically would skip um, because it's a lot more heat than I would typically like in my hair. But desperate times call for desperate measures. So today I decided to infuse oils into my deep conditioner. This is a moisture treatment with um, oils added. I will insert the clip here so you can see what oils I put in here as well. So what my plan is, is to put this in my hair, but I'm going to concentrate it close to the roots as well. That way I get the moisture exactly where I need it. I am going to also put quite a bit of it on my ends because my ends are quite fragile and brittle. So I'm going to do this, cover my hair with a plastic cap and sit under the dryer. So see you guys in a minute. I think when my hair is stretched, because my natural hair coils, so when it is stretched, I do have like a full inch of new growth, maybe an inch and a half of new growth, which is great. My hair is growing. That's not the problem. The problem is that it is dry. So what I decided to do today, instead of the protein treatment, I was going to give my hair a protein treatment because I do instinctively do protein before I put my hair in any kind of protective style because that really does help to keep your hair strong underneath the protective style. But since my hair is so dry, I think that would be a mistake this time around. So what I decided to do was to go with a moisture treatment instead. Typically, I would just apply the conditioner directly onto my hair and that would be enough. I would allow my body heat to um, activate the conditioner and that would be it. But desperate times call for desperate measures. So today I decided to go with um, moisture instead of protein. And as an additional add-on, I put my oils in here. Um, I did put quite a few oils in there to help with moisture retention. So hopefully that does the trick. What I will also do is concentrate this on my roots and on my ends because these are the areas that need it the most and today I am going to do the bonnet dryer so I will cover my hair with a plastic cap once I'm done with my conditioning treatment and I will sit under the bonnet dryer for 20 minutes to half an hour usually I would skip the bonnet dryer because I don't like putting so much heat directly on my hair but I need it so that's what I'm doing once I am done I will come back to you guys to show you if it worked <laughs> this concoction feels pretty good it's it's holding up it's sticking together it's not separating so that's good and so far, I like how my hair is responding. 
So I'm going to do this throughout my hair and I will come back after my treatment to show you the texture of my hair and if it did anything for me. So, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back. I just washed the product out of my hair. Um, I wanted to show you what my hair looks like while it is still damp. Um, I also wanted to give you like an update so you can see how much new growth I have. Um, I do have quite a bit. I am about two months post relaxer and I'm satisfied with the way my hair is growing. That really isn't the problem. My hair has just been so dry. Um, but my hair does feel really moisturized. I am hoping that once it is fully dry, that it has retained a lot of the moisture. I did rinse my hair with cold water in an effort to keep a lot of the moisture locked in my strands. So I'm hoping that that worked. Um, yeah, I did see a protective style on Instagram a few minutes ago that I am excited about trying. So I'm going to go out to see if I can get the hair products that I need to pull this style off. If it comes off well, then I will link the video. Um, if not, forget it. <laughs> um, also, I will give the credit to the YouTuber I saw with the hairstyle. I did find it on her Instagram page. So if it is a hit, I will definitely give her the credit because it was her idea. Um, I do intend to add my own twist to it. You know you can expect that from me. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. I'm going to go out and later on when my hair air dries, because I do intend to let it air dry, um, I'm not going to attempt to manipulate it while it is wet. So once my hair has fully dried, I will come back as well to show you what my hair looks like. So see you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. My hair is fully dry now. Um, and I mean that literally and figuratively because my hair is still dry. The hair closest to my scalp, my roots, do feel, um, my roots do feel moisturized, but still on the dry side. Because when I pass my fingers through my scalp, I can feel the moisture. I know that there's moisture there. My hair does feel moisturized. But the length of my hair is still very dry. When I pass my hands through it, I can actually hear a crunch. <laughs> That's how dry it is. So whilst I was out, I picked up this Cream of Nature um, Pure Honey Not Away Leave-In Detangler. It is for dry dehydrated hair. And the directions say that it must be applied generously and work through trouble sections with a white tooth comb. So I'm going to use this to detangle my hair. Hopefully it helps. And then I am going to go in and moisturize with the usual Elasta QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. And then I'm going to seal everything in, lock all the moisture in, using a mixture of argan oil and rosehip seed oil. So that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully that makes a difference because I do want a protective style and... The style I'm going to do will not allow me to lubricate my hair um, throughout the week. So I hope this is effective. So let's try it and see. I am finally finished um, twisting my hair. My hair feels so much better, like 100% better. Because when I first started, it was dry, it was brittle, it was a mess. But now my hair feels juicy, it feels nice, I feel like I have new hair. <laughs> so this process definitely took a lot of time, but it was worth it. I feel like my hair has regained the moisture that it needs for the week. I will go in um, maybe mid-week to oil my scalp, um, moisturize my scalp and then oil it. But that's as much as I feel like I would need to do. Um... I am going to protective style. I don't know how long I'm going to keep the protective style in. Knowing me, it's not going to be more than two weeks. And then I will see what my hair needs then and address it accordingly. 
thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up i would like to hear as well from you what you use to moisturize your new growth specifically and if you have very dry hair like me what um products you use to keep it fresh and moisturized and just juicy <laughs> so comment below and let me know thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate your support I will see you in the next one. So today was my first time trying this detangler and I really liked how it worked. But because it was my first time using it, before I recommend it to you guys, I would like to try it a few more times. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep using this weekly to see if it really does help me. And I will let you guys know how it works.